on the justice court. The plaintiff, Fatima Ismaila, is suing her husband for the children's upkeep. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaulu decided. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Fatima Ismaila versus Isiaka Ismaila. Thank you, Aki. Okay. Fatima. Yes, ma'am. You brought your husband, Isiaka. Yes, Now here. Yeah. What's the problem? Early last and um, two months back, all of a sudden, he said I should move out of the house with my children. So I was asking what happened. Let me let me talk. What is the what's the problem? He said he has been he dropped in outside that he heard all the conversation I've been having with my sister. That I'm talking that, okay, the DJ is much blood, this and that, that I should just go there. He himself is not interested again. That I should just move out of the house. In fact, even my property, my belongings, in, I should just go outside there. He will bring it outside for me. So, and I was like, what is it? Let me even talk. Like, what's the problem? Okay, even if you ask me to leave, then let me pick my things myself. He said, no, I must go. Even if, if, if not, he's going to injure me, he's going to beat me up, he's going to do this, do that. I don't know, calm down now, what is this? So, in the process of dragging and everything, he tore my clothes. I was like, ah, you even tear my clothes. What is this? So, it was even the noise that our neighbor now heard that people rushing. I was now calming him down to wait, wait. Okay, if you want her to go, allow her to pack her belonging by herself. That was how I he sat down, then I packed my things. Then told the... Um, he has um, children. I know about it. He has uh, three children five, before we got married. So he told one of them to go ahead and bring my son from school that I should go along with him. So in the process, he seized some of my clothes and some personal belongings that anyone he brought for me, I should drop it down, just pack the one that I came in with. So that was how I left the house. And since then, he hasn't called or this thing. It was only last month that he called that I should send my account number. That was when he sent 20,000. And since I've not heard anything concerning. How many children do you have to get? I have two. Two. Yes, ma'am. What's the age of the children? Two years. Two years, eight months, and then one of three months old. Please, Yaka, what do you have to say? My name is Ismail Isaka. I married her 2000 and, uh, on 12th September 2020. I have three children before I marry her. I divorced without my wife. So before I got married to her, I used to visit the, she even know about the children. We do visit them at where my senior brother's place at Ajigule. All of a sudden, after we married, she gave first birth. He said I should take the children out of the house. I should go and put them in the body school. Or I should go and give them to their mother. I said that does not, that was not possible. That is a problem I have had started maltreating them and give them, even when they want to eat, you give, the, you, it's maltreating them all the time. You want me to pack the children out of the house. All of a sudden, early last two months ago, I forget the actual date. He now, I am a commercial driver, downfall driver. So my motor has fought. I wanted to go and do the motor, the mechanic uh, workshop. So when I came back, I forget some things at home. I came back home and I said, uh, I don't call Kurope. He was just telling her sister, calling her friend. One of her friends, he do visit us for a place. Uh, and I did that. Say she has sent money to her. She has called Kurope to come and pack her belongings, blah, 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 blah. So I now come and say, if you want to go, you can go. I cannot send my children away for you because of this, because you know I have them before I marry to you. That is the problem. So I'm not collecting on any of her belongings. I, when, when I married her, the first born she born, she do it to oppression. Even the second one. I take care of her. There's no any cause of alarm. And God has been doing it. We are, we are eating. Everything is going well. But she don't want to take care of my children. She was just after my children. So I should take them away. That's the problem she's having with her. 
Did you beat her up? She alleged that you beat her up. You didn't address that. No. That you tore her clothes and that she was beaten up. <laughs> she was just formulating, man. There's nothing like that. Even suddenly, last month on 16, not on 17, I would say, I call her father. Her father is living at Kano. Her father now said I should give her phone that. She was calling, he called his own, uh, call her own, I did not pick. He now called me back, said I should give her phone. Say she should not go anywhere. That he will send one of his uncle to come and meet us. He said, no, he has fed up. He cannot train somebody that is not born. I should take the children to go and give her mother. She has told me several times. Her grandmother has said that she will be coming. She don't want to do it. She, uh, she is not the mother of the children. And every time uh, the children problem, the problem is that she should take them away. That is the problem we are having. The father knows about it. Ma, the issue of the children that he's saying, I've never for once matriced them. Okay, right, I'm punishing them, but please, if you can ask him who is taking care of them, their performances in school, how are they coping? I've been the one going to the school, knowing how well they are coping, how they are doing. Like, I have the school numbers, both the class teacher, the secretary, the headmasters, and the principal of the one in secondary school. So I do follow up in terms of school, then when they come back from school, I will check their books. All of you bring your books. How far, how are you people coping? Where are you lacking behind? Let me check. Then I will check everything. Then I will see that I saw that the senior one is not performing well. Ask him, is the one, I was the one that told him that this boy is not performing well. That is the time you say, okay, well, you are not doing it. Then you will beat the boy up. And each time he's beating him, he's always beating him like as if he's not the owner. And I told him, this is not how to train a child. Fine, the boy is not coping well in the school, but this is not the way to go about it. Sit him down as father and son. Talk to him. Maybe he doesn't want to go to school or he wants to stay with his mom. Just talk to him like one on one. If you should rub mine together, then angrily out of annoyance, you can just take anything that is, you hit the boy, it might be a cup of tea, anything, beat the boy up nonchalantly. And I was even fed up, I said, oh, maybe I will not be bringing any issue of the children as their cup, since you are beating them in the way that I don't like. I don't want problem, and later they will say it's their father's wife that is telling their father to be beaten. I, I, there is no how he said I'm maltreated. They are food, they are always eating, going to school, even if they have PTMT, open day, anything, whatever, I, I'm the one going. He registered them in school last two years back when they just moved in. That was when I put birth to um, my firstborn. And we never for once sat down and said, okay, these children are moving in with us. How are we going to do it? Please associate with them. And never for once, I didn't argue with him. He registered them in school and both in Islamia, and I'm fine with it. And I'm doing everything possible best that I don't want situation that they will say, okay, because we are not their mother, that is why you are maltreating them. But I don't know the way he's seeing his own his own side that I'm maltreating them and my dish food for them. He will say that I'm not giving them enough food. I didn't add meat. I didn't do this. And the children are even the one. They will tell me, mommy, please reduce the food. It's too much. We cannot finish it. I will like. Eat it like that. Once it remains, just go and drop it later, you finish it. So each time I fetch, um, fetch food for them, they will always ask me to reduce it. So I used to reduce the portion. The plaintiff, Fatima Ismaila, claims that her husband sent her packing after eavesdropping on her phone conversation with a friend. She claims the defendant has been very aggressive to her, especially on the issues that bother on raising the three children he has from his first marriage. The defendant, Isiaka Ismaila, claims that Fatima is fully aware of the fact that he already has three children from his first marriage before she opted to marry him. He claims that Fatima has been asking him to send the children away and she has been maltreating them. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. Hold on. Okay. What do you think she does? that makes you feel she's maltreating them? I love her. She has maltreated them. That's one certain time she gives them, he, he put uh, semo. The, 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 the beans we eat yesterday, it remains more for the distance. So he put semo on that food to give them when the children come and show me. I call her, uh, uh, I call her mother, report it to her and her father as well. Because it's like... I still don't understand. You had... You cook beans. Yes, yes, Tana. The beans and you, you didn't eat finish it. it the previous day. Yes, the the, the second day. She the second warmed after, it and gave. It's not even warm it. Too. She put semo on that food for them. Which food? On on the beans. Semo or yes. beans? Yes, yes. Well, light alai. I call her mother. Are you serious? Well, light Did you do that? Ma, it's like this. They had, it is in the morning. It was already we had the beans at night. Then the remaining one. 
usually we warm it in the morning, eat it with bread and tea. So they ate it in the morning. Then the leftover, like just small pieces in the place. I was not going to, you push, you come and wash plate. Let me dish it for you. Then none of them answered. So he said that, okay, let me just do it. Maybe to just for a lesson that, okay, when you see that I put it like this, then when next few people eat, always wash your plate in time before I start cooking. That is the rule. So each time they see me cooking, they will just be running. And that day, their dad is around. So each time they see that their dad is around, they always misbehave. Even if I call them, they will, it will you know, time. You know what you ought to have done in that? Now that you know that pattern, when you want to do that as a threat, you carry him along. So that way he knows that you are just using it to, she's just using it as a reformative means. But the way you went about it, do you understand for him? He believed that should not be. Now you are telling me that. I'm not sure whether you explained to him that day. He that wasn't he, listening to my explanation. Because he was very angry. He wasn't listening because... So you have to carry him along on things like that so that you won't be having this kind of situation again. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Second one, ma'am. When my child, when one of my, my second son want to graduate from the from the primary school to secondary school, she, persons, the person that said that she is the one that is taking care is doing. She refused to follow him down to the school for the graduation ceremony. I begged her for three days. She refused to go until I absent from work and follow my son to the school. She said that she's not the mother. She cannot follow her to the school. But what's stopping you from going? My own number. It's not as if I don't want to go. You know, at times, it's things like this. That boy will end up having two mothers. Depends on the way you handle him. Do you understand yes, me? The biological mom will be there. Nothing will take away the lo uh, his love for the mom. But the child will never forget that you raised him. They are young now. When they're like you, or older, you know, they look back. And they remember the role you've played in their life as well. So you have to, do you understand, work on it. It doesn't really matter. But you could have gone. Why didn't you go? It's not as if I don't want to go. But what because happened? I was even following up. In terms of, okay, now you want to graduate. Which clothes are you going to wear? Mm. They said they have vest. I said, okay. Then what was I going to put on it? He said, it doesn't have anything. I said, okay, when your dad come, tell him that you need trousers that you wear on the vest. He said, okay. It was when the man came, when his dad came back, he collected money. And he gave me the money to get him trousers. So I got the trousers for him. Then a day to the party, I told him, are you not going to... Them, the boys, I want to attend the graduation party. Sir. He's not going. He's not going that. She, I will be the one going. I said, I'm not going. My expectation was that you should ask me why am I not going. And the problem is that we had, we had this issue last year, December. So since we came back, we reunited. Like, the family talks about it. And since then, he never called my family again, or greet them, or check up on them. So, and I called him that, why is this thing like this? Why are you not? associated with my family, like that. he's not done like this. I begged him, like, we talked for about two hours over this issue, that please and please. In fact, for the sake of your son that I have for you, just forget about the matter. Whoever, like, have issue with you, just forget about it. Hoping that things will change, but still, he didn't call them, he didn't ask of anything. So my expectation that day is that, okay, since it's like this, then let me go through this process. That, okay, if I should tell you that I'm not going for the party, then you will ask me that why am I not going? So he took it up. Okay, if you don't want to go, I'm the owner of the, I'm the, owner of the children. I will go for them, blah, blah, blah. I was totally angry that, no, this is not how I want it. So I kept quiet. Then the next day, the, next, the day of the occasion, in the morning, he called me. Am I still going? I said, I'm not going. Since he didn't ask me, I said, I'm not going. So he now said, he will go. Then me, I'm just being wicked. And I don't have a um, mercy with them. I'm doing a silly baby because if I'm not in his life, the children will not survive or blah, blah, blah. So I just kept quiet. So when he left, he didn't even go initially. He now told me, when he left, so I was thinking he's going to the school. Then the senior owner came to me that, daddy said you should go for the party. You should go and attend the party. So I'm like, are you the one going? He said, yes. Then has he given you money? He said, no. I said, ah. Then how are you going to attend the party without him being there and me, I'm not there. He's not polite now, he's not normal. So the boy and I said, mommy, please go for him. Just forget about it and things like that. Because I and the children, we roll very well. We don't, have, we don't have problem. So immediately, I was now, I was, I was feeling somehow that, how will this boy be in school today or all day? The dad is not there and the mom is not there. Even me that I'm supposed to be there, I won't be there. So I just stood up. I was even pregnant then. My due date is closer that time. So I said, okay, I press up then, then pick some money and 
follow the boy. I'm not told the senior that don't worry, I'll go. That is not polite. That what if the friends, the other student, now if people are calling that okay, come for a certificate, you know we what? come for him. So I mean the two of you have a lot of communication gap. You, do you understand why she didn't want to go now? You 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 heard what she said. Yeah, but that's so not she was nursing. She was nursing that anger. Now, after all, she's been begging you all this while to make peace with her own family. Do you understand? But now you want her to go with your own. So apparently, I think she knows that it's going to hurt you the way you've been hurting her. She just wanted to take a pound of flesh. That's, that's just it. That's why I said communication gap. The two of you have to... You have to... To learn to forgive and let go. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Life, forgive and let go. Especially when the person you are angry with is apologizing or begging you. Do you understand me? Just let go. Look at where we are right now. From that minor issue. <laughs> Often times when you guys are talking and I just smile. Because I look at what I have before me at times and it's like, at times it's totally opposite. And that's from him. I will appreciate if the court can help us come back as family. For her to accept these children like her own. And I undertake to take responsibility of all our children together. I didn't believe that. I'm not convinced. Okay. I'm not convinced. <laughs> because it has always been thrown in that the marriage is not compulsory. If I want to leave, I should leave. You know, you know what's going to happen? I want the two of you to go for marriage counseling sessions. Do you understand me? I want to have six. I want the two of you to have six sessions. With the marriage counselor. Is that okay by you? Yes, ma'am. And the two of you, I want the two of you. So you see the legal team, they'll set it up immediately. But in the while that is ongoing, I want you to still stay apart. So that by the time you complete it, then you can come together. You don't want to go back. Man, this man is is so aggressive. You know what I want you to do? Do you beat her up? She's mentioning aggressiveness. Do you hit her? My lord, she's just formulating. There's one certain time she even slapped me four times. Of which her people come and beg me. Ma, he beat you me up. You slapped him. Ma, it wasn't like that. Yeah. We initially had a fight that day. He beat me up to the fight with of... him. He slapped me he and beat me. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny. Do you know why? Oh, you know why I said that? When I, report, when I reported to her... If somebody they, that is highly violent and mm. um, very aggressive and much more stronger, that's why some of them, out of anger, they will squeeze somebody's neck and suffocate. You understand what I'm saying? The two of you, if you practice it, you have to stop. Domestic violence. You have children you are raising in the house. How do you want them to grow up? What kind of life do you want them to live when they get married later in life? To be repeating that? My own. You see why I said you need marriage counselor? You really need to go for marriage counseling. You see a professional for that. You've got to stop that. Go for the session. In the meantime, while that is on, I want you to be giving her upkeep for the children with her. Then when you round up, I want the two of you back here. Let's have a review. Let me get each one's opinion. If you still maintain your stand as it is today, nobody, do you understand? Yes, nobody can force you to stay married. The same way if he doesn't want you, I can't force you back on him. If you don't want him, but for the children's sake, do you understand? Yes. I would love you to attend that counseling session. Let's see if it can help. 
if at the end of the day it's not been of any help, then you go your separate ways and we start talking about the welfare of the children and everything. But well, you are too young. My young mama, you are is, too young. Is, is, even the issue, the case we had, it, we had then, is because of the children. I, don't, I told the boy to pack clothes for me outside. So he came back, he said, my neighbor is cooking under the wire. That he's not able to pack the clothes. I said, okay. Then I forgot about it. Then around 7 a.m., 7 p.m., I said, okay, go and pray. People should go and pray. Then coming back, it was during fasting time. I did sobo for breaking. I told him to carry it out. Then on his way home, he just pray and come back home. I don't even know that the boy did not even pray. And I didn't even send him to pack clothes. He just come back all of a sudden. I was just hearing noises outside that. She said, I told you to go and pray. Anybody that send you a message, you must not go. Then um, the person that watched, look, can't the person go? I told you. It was just, I was like, what See, happened? That's what I'm saying. The two of you, you have to be in tune towards raising the children. Even if she's doing something that you don't like, do you understand? You don't start correcting or shouting or in front of these children. These children are very smart. Before you know it, they will be manipulating the two of you to get what they want. So you leave her or you just call her, not by shouting. Could be like, let me see you inside. Say, what's going on? I'm not happy. You know I want them to go to the mosque right now. Do you understand me? So you now ask her, not you reversing, you ask her to now go and tell the child, leave what you are doing, go to the mosque first. When you come back, you can come and do what I ask you. Do you understand the task I gave you? You have to, that you need to see Marie Cancelo so that you know how to, do you understand, handle things like that, you know? And same thing with you. If you notice he's doing something, you don't... And you should never have that open quarrel in front of the children. Look for a way to manage it. You go inside, you can talk to yourself, but when they are not around, you have your outburst with each other. Don't go physical. But of course, you have to say and discuss and communicate with each other. Over things you love, over things you don't love, there must be that. You must have that communication. Very good one. Because right now, the communication, the communication there is communication gap. And then when it comes to the children, you both have to sit down. There are issues. At times when they are your biological children, there are things you will do. Nobody will give it a second thought. And for you, if you have decided that you want her to raise your children for you, there are certain things that if she does to them, as long as you know that she could do the same thing to her own children, do you understand? Yes, don't, don't have that outburst. You caution her. It's like she has to change altogether so that she won't personalize it that it's because of the children that are not her own biological one. Do you understand? So you call and correct her. That it's not just because it's this. I know you could do the same thing over your own children. Well, it's totally wrong and I don't want it. Do, do you understand me? Because now she's gotten that feeling that you are being overprotective over those children. Do you understand? And it's part of what is causing the quarrel and the rift between you. And we should not be. She knew you had the children before she married you. She has seen them before then. Yes. So for her, she's okay. Do you understand? Yes, so it's the way you are now managing everybody. And much more lies on your hand as the head of the family. So you have to look for a way to balance it between all of them. But I'm sure the counseling would assist you. So you have two children with you. Yes. How much do you want to be giving them for maintenance while you go to the marriage counseling session? Then you come back for review. I twenty thousand. I gave. I sent twenty thousand for her on on sixteen 
and sustained over. So monthly basis, you'll be giving her 20,000 naira. Yes, ma'am. For now. You heard that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you can have, it depends on your availability. You can have this section on every week if you can manage it with the counselor. You can have it on weekly basis. You can have it fortnightly. You know, but I want you to round up everything by March ending latest. Okay. So that by April, you can come over. Is that okay by you too? Yes, All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All one the best. Thing, he accused me of, he said he saw charm on my bag, in my bag that I left. I actually forgot my thing, my bag. So after some days, he called me that he saw charm. Please, he should release the charm to me. It seems Fatima and Isiaka may improve their relationship with effective communication and active listening skills. Judge Fumi recommends the service of a marriage counselor prior to the conclusion of this case. After the break, Judge Fumi adjourns this matter. The two of you go and see the marriage counselor and um, let's meet again by April after you have completed it. Go for that. That's my judgment. All right. If your baby daddy is denied paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situation, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.